there's the mailbag recording starting. And yeah, that's fine. We don't even have to put that camera on, I guess. So, I mean, we can, but okay. No, that's fine. There we go. We got it. Um, I should put a mic on you, though, if these mics are working. No, I should. Otherwise, nobody will be able to hear what you say, and that's important. That's the only part they're going to get. No, that's the only thing you are going to do. You're not going to be visible, so you have to be audible. You can say all the dumb things. That's what people love. That's the only way I get away with it. All right, let me just put this right here on your wonderful T-shirt. T-shirt. It's a T-shirt, even though it's a hoodie. Where is he? All right. Say something so people can see if the mic's working. I just said something. Okay, good enough. Probably. Um, all right. I think that's everything settled then. Let's check, make sure everybody can hear us okay. The recording's already started. Let's see what we got here. So first check the camera angles. Sit back for a sec. I want to see if we can see your laptop. Yeah, totally can. Uh, Wait, like that? Yeah, uh, I'll move the That's camera okay. or switch That's it. Okay. Hi, Teaspoon. Your head's kind of in the way of it, but they can definitely see. So if I just zoom in a little bit, that'll solve it. We can just zoom in past it. Here, hang on. Hey, little buddy. Hey, buddy. All right, come let's here? see here. You want to come up here? So again, uh, sorry for being late. I just uh, I lost track of time. I was trying to, I think I mentioned before about wanting to move that treadmill and uh, I was getting started on that and just lost track of time. There was a, whoop, oh, come on camera. There we go. There was a strip screw I had to get like the, the you know, like screw removal kit and just completely lost track of time. So all right, let me check now. See, uh, cameras are good. Ow. Let's see if the mics Ow. are good. Ow. Good enough. It's all good. Okay, good. Squall. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, DJ, thanks Kids. for joining us this morning. It's a Christmas treat for me oh, and for everybody. Also, uh, today's the day we're going to open the presents that are under the tree that have been waiting for us, but we oh. still have some mailbag to do first. I think we should start there so DJ can just observe, and uh, if she feels like commenting, great. Uh, did you already put up that page that you were working on? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, okay. that hasn't happened before. Is that all part of mailbag? Sure, no, that's, that's no, all I our mean, Christmas stuff that... that didn't get put out. Oh, I see. This is all mailbag over here, though. Yeah, it's a lot. So let's just grab a big box to start with. Uh, we'll jump right in. Merry Christmas, by the way, everybody. Today is the day. It is Christmas. Merry Christmas, DJ. Merry Christmas. All right. And we're just going to get right into it. This is addressed to, well, Chris and Deepa, mm. interestingly enough. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is an interesting uh, box of boxes. Just packaging empty. That's cool. I like that. Hmm. <laughs> It's good to know. Packaging only empty, huh? I see. So you've used old boxes as packing material. That's pretty smart if they fit. That's, that's a pretty clever way to do that. But we do have a holiday card on top, and it says, uh, Merriest wishes with a stack of presents. And inside it says, Wishing you an abundance of happiness and good cheer this Christmas. And then there's a written note. Hello, Merry Christmas, and happy every day. Fine. Please find enclosed a few goodies to use as you see fit with lug and lug lug why off to a good start yeah good start with love and spoogles from baba g stan the man knit and kitten and jimbo <laughs> p.s uh there are three easily identifiable items in this package and a plain but heavy box anything else is packaging only even if it looks like it might have something in it <laughs> oh well that's nice of you um, let's see now you are starting to describe some of the things that are in the box uh oh just one of them so I see, it's Nulo. Um, you say the plain but heavy box contains the remaining cans from a case of Nulo uh, chicken and turkey cat food. We got some from Bob and Stan to try, and they were unenthused. Oh. We told them, you know, there are hungry kittens at Kitten Academy who would love some nice Nulo chicken and turkey cat food. You should be grateful. And they were all like, well, give it to them then. We don't want it. 
So here we are. <laughs> Such kids. All right. Well, in that case, uh, let's take a look at what else is in the box besides Squall here. You sent us the Cat It Senses Treat Tower, uh, I think. Oh, wow. Yes, we haven't one. had that in a while. Uh, that's what I was just going to say. Yeah, this used to be a staple on our, our kitchen table for the kids to eat their crunchy treats from. And then uh, we didn't do crunchy treats for a long time. Yeah. And then uh, now we are doing it again, but we don't have one of these anymore. I, I think I have a vague recollection that it like melted in the dishwasher or something. Oh. I can't remember what happened to it for sure, though. Maybe it fell off and broke. But uh, yeah, it has. It's been a while uh, since we've had one, so that should be fun. And you also sent another Cat It Senses water fountain, which you can never have too many of. This is the old style, which is cool. It doesn't have the flower on top, and I think some of the cats will like that. Yeah. Um, then, let's see, you said three easily identifiable. So that's two. Oh, I see, and the third one's down there. And here's the heavy package. Okay. Ooh. All right, so here's the new low. Thank you so much for the new. Oh, it says new low on it, and the battery thing's been scratched out. And that's that's uh, cute. Okay, uh, so we got that. There's a kitten. And then yes, yeah, Squall is desperate to play in this packing material, but there's one last thing under Squall, which is. Oh wow! It is a it's a truck carrying a Christmas tree, sort of like the one that we made, except more official. And uh, it does. It says holiday truck scratcher and uh it looks it like the kittens to... can play inside it and it's got a christmas tree it's not exactly like put on top the way you would but it's standing up so it's pretty obvious what's going on and there's snow all over on the windshield and the tires it's a little more holiday themed is someone under me and the light yes uh, but not in the way you can push it, it down slowly uh, yeah yeah hey drizzle, hey, drizzle. drizzle. It's just oh it's just drizzle yeah. okay can yeah, i, I have that see where because it i think we have to use that now oh you want to put it together right now Okay, cool. Because otherwise it's... Otherwise it's for next year. year. Yeah, those are the choices. Well, larger, thank you so much. Larger Papa cats, Jeans fan. welcome. <laughs> well, there's a truck. Larger <laughs> so cats. The, oh, look at that. Larger cats, welcome. Yeah, well, I guess that's saying something. It's for custard? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Thank you so much for the new low. Thank you for the scratcher and the cat it senses. The kids are all going to love this stuff. Uh, this might be a fun way to slow them down a little bit on the crunchies. I've noticed, by the way, since I've been giving them more and more crunchies, they're, they're less um, enthused about the new low here. Mm. And they kind of demand the crunchies. Um, but I'm not giving in. They still have to eat the new low, no matter how they feel about it. So uh, thank you for all of it. Okay. This should be quick, I think. All right, I'm going to put this out of the way. I'm going to have to bring some other boxes over here. I'm going to have to get this all together. Kind of a shaky start since I was late. Hi, Teaspoon. Hey, Teaspoon, buddy. Hi, Teaspoon. <laughs> Can I tell everybody what it is you were working on or are working on? Um, Not yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Actually, if I just keep working, I can be done by the time you finish, and then you can tell people. What's up to you? But then now I have this. Yeah, Why you did I do this? Another project. That's okay. It's okay. It's all good. I'm gonna open these, and then we'll get it all figured out. Oh. Oh, yeah, this was one that I saw in the mail. It's addressed to Chris and DJ, but I noticed it's a drop shipment from King Arthur Flower Company. Oh. Which is, uh, that's cool. We like uh, we like baking, and we like King Arthur in particular. Oh, I thought you meant, like, flowers. Flower oh, company. Sure. No, that makes sense, too. No, it doesn't. I mean, <laughs> it makes sense because we have a flower connection, but... What connection do wow, we have? Wow, this is packed in here pretty nicely. What is all this? Okay. Something smells good, too. What is going on here? Please. Single origin spices. Oh. Mm. Oh, I thought I smelled cardamom. And in fact, I did smell cardamom and cinnamon and ginger all in spice jars. Look how cute those are. You can open the door on those this. Those are really cute. Okay. Cardamom, cinnamon, and ginger. And then there's something else here on the bottom. Some sort of... Um, um, oh. Oh, hey. This is exactly what I do. But this is a container made for it. So what I do when I make cookies is I always um, t 
take the cookie dough and I basically put it in like a plastic bag and then shape it out into a log and then put the log in the freezer and then anytime I want cookies, uh, with I, I take the raw dough and do that. Anytime I want cookies, I take that out of the freezer and cut off a couple slices and throw them usually in the air fryer because it's just, you know, the air fryer is just a small oven. So I toss them in there on a, like a steel plate and cook just a couple few cookies at a time. It keeps me honest. Uh, this appears to be, it says, slice and bake cookie dough keeper. Keep so it looks like it's a way to actually shape the log. In fact, it says, roll cookie dough into a log, place in base, close lid, and chill in refrigerator as directed in recipe. Oh, I see. Uh, they only intend you to do this for a little while, but I do... Oh, for make ahead convenience, label recipe, name, date, bake, temperature, and time, and freeze for later use. Perfect. So that's what I do. This is cool. I didn't know anybody made a product like this. Like I said, I just typically do it. Or um, I've been using a plastic bag lately because that's uh, nice. But before that, I was just using like a big piece of parchment paper, rolling it up and twisting the ends and putting that in the freezer. So this is cool. I, I'm glad to know that this oh, exists. Wow. And I'm really grateful for... Teaspoon. Oh, I'll have to check to see who sent this, right? Mm, yeah. I yeah. Guess. Oh, wow. This is heavy duty, too. Look at that. And it's got little little notches so you can tell where to cut the cookies, apparently. Although these are a little thinner than I would make mine. That's fine. It just means instead of doing three, I can do six. Yeah. Uh, that's fun. Again, I had no idea this existed. And it's got a little lip on it, too, so it kind of stays connected once you've got it in there. Very cool. All right. Let's see if there's a note on the packing slip or not. Checking, checking. I don't see anything here but the... Oh, wait, inside. All right. No, no, no. Sprout, no. no hmm, sprout. Well, there's a name Sweet. here that ordered it, so I could say thanks to that name. But, uh, yeah, okay, I'll say Jill, I guess. Thank you so much. This is, this is really cool. And I don't know how you saw this or thought of it or knew to do it, but that's brilliant. And uh, this is going to be perfect, too. This is, looks like some really fancy stuff, though. Cloud forest Sprout, cardamom. This is a problem. Buffalo ginger and royal cinnamon. Wow. These two are from Vietnam, and this one is from Guatemala. Single origin. Wow, that's super fancy. Burlap and barrel. Hmm. Start with the half, wow, our spices are fresher and more flavor, flavorful. Start with half the amount you'd normally use. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds really cool. I'm, I'm super excited about that. I have some cookies to bake with cardamom and cinnamon in them. Uh, so that could be just the thing for it. Wow. All right, well, uh, I had no idea. I was excited, though, when I saw the King Arthur logo, and uh, it seems like that was... Justified. That's super exciting. Thank you. Okay, we've got this guy on the heavy box, so I'm going to try to reach this one over here with my water on it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, this is covered in stickers, and there was a name here that I've covered up, but hopefully there's a note inside, since this was packed from whoever sent it. Yep, yep. I don't know anybody's real names, so if that's somebody I know and I've just like revealed your real name, you just don't have to say to anybody publicly or whatever. <laughs> I just have no idea. Okay, we have the note, okay to read on stream with more cute stickers. Oh, and glitter all over the envelope. All right. I see glitter from the bag or uh, box that's below it. We'll get to that in due time. But first... All right, dear... Oh. Oh, there's a, 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 okay, a picture of some branches with snow, and it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, K.A. Friends, and K.A. Cats and Kittens, sending you wishes for a happy, merry holiday season. As always, a huge thank you to Mr. A and DJ for sharing their home with us virtually so we can all share in the love and joy that is K.A. K.A. is on all day while I work and provides a great break for me during the day, and Mailbag is always a weekend highlight. Keep up all the wonderful work you do. You make a difference in so many lives, feline and human. I've enclosed some presents so you can open right away. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, today we would have anyway, so uh, I hope you enjoy them. The gifts for the K.A. Cats Kittens can be distributed as you see fit. I apologize for the slight use on the cheese wedge toy, 
Arya and Bran kept stealing it out of the bag. <laughs> don't worry, they'll be getting their own for Christmas. I will wrap up for now, as I don't want to be too long-winded. P.S. In case you're wondering who's who on the card, top row, Dana Reese. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I, I never really watched the show. Uh, sorry. Second row, Hera and Arya. Third row, Bran, Titus, and Toby. P.P.S. This font is called Lobster, in case anyone might find that helpful. All right, then. Well, let's see. Um, so we have another card here that has uh, kitten stickers coming right off of it. Here we go. Put that on my knee. Just what I need. And it says, oh, Merry Christmas. And these, I see the, the cheat sheet here. I got it. Wishing you a happy and healthy 2024 from our house to yours. And as you said, we've got the top row, second row, third row, uh, all right there. So thank you very much. This is uh, from Frozen Tundra Crew. And let's see. Uh, actually, I don't want to put that over there. That's the stuff that is going away. I want to put it over here with the stuff that is being kept. So Frozen Tundra Crew, I believe, yes. And we've got packages right here to open Mr. A and DJ to the KA Cats. And look how well wrapped these are. This is so cute. And uh, KA Cats and Kittens. And then one more. Mr. A. I think that's it. All right. That's so cute. Look at how well wrapped those are. Very pretty. I was telling them all yesterday about that show that we watched yes. with the wrapping paper on it and how, and how it's I a agree sign of, it. yes, DJ's on, firmly comes down on the side of it is a sign of respect to unwrap it very carefully. Um, but I think you could say it's a sign of enthusiasm to unwrap it quickly, right? Mm, no. She says no. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess you can probably hear that with all the scraping and stuff. Sorry. I should check the, no, it's fine. I mean, I should just check to see like. I don't want anybody to miss anything you're saying because this is such a rare treat. Uh, but I just let's see if there's a if it's making it very difficult to hear. I'm not saying anything. Oh, um, uh, all your work, but no, it shouldn't be picking it up hear too you much. Yeah. Too. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, nobody's complaining about it, so we'll just pretend like it's fine. There we Sorry. go. Sorry. No, no, it is fine. It's absolutely fine. Well, I'm going to start opening these because DJ's in the middle of a project, and she probably doesn't want to try to do it anyway. But, yeah, you uh, can open it for me. I'll try to do it respectfully. This one is addressed to Mr. A anyway, so it, oh, I guess it would have been tear it up. mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm already tearing. I mean, you can't. You just can't. These cats are really cute, though. The wrapping paper is adorable. Here, look at these guys, especially the Siamese uh, with the little uh, the, uh, thing on his head there. Holly, I guess it is, or mistletoe. Ooh, oh, this is a UV flashlight. You can always use another one of these, and this is the kind that's got all the LEDs in it. Now, I have a huge one like this that looks like something like a night guard would w carry around if he was guarding against urine. Oh, <laughs> wait, I think this is just a reused box. You fooled me. Oh, oh even better. Oh, nice. <laughs> this looks like a pineapple chocolate lollipop. I'm guessing it's chocolate. It's hard to tell through the wrapper. Uh-huh. I got taken by the box. And a milk chocolate snowman also on a stick. Oh, those are going to be great. I love the pineapple, though. How did you find that? So it's got a dark chocolate pineapple, milk chocolate snowman. Really cute. Oh, that's that's adorable. Okay, and edible. I like it. And you totally got me. All right, let's see. Uh, this is to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. All right. Let's see. Now, this one I should open as carefully as I can. Oh, too late. I already tore it. <laughs> oh, man. You just can't. You can't do it. I think it's impossible. It's impossible to be respectful of people. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Respect is just too difficult <laughs> and time-consuming. Nobody's got time for that. All right. I, I literally can't, though. <laughs> All right, look, I made a try. I, I gave it the old college try. All right, I'm not going to be fooled by whatever the box says this time. I see how this works. Oh, wow, even the box. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, but we got cute wrapping inside, too. And, oh, oh, wow, it's socks, and it looks like a button. The button is a cute little kitty with a heart, and it says Cat Lady. And then the socks say Meowy Christmas. That's adorable. Plus, there's another pair of socks that have space cats. Oh, that's super cool. 
And they are, they are little space cats. Each one has a little helmet on, and they are among the stars. And it says something. This cat is on my lap. I can't get up right now. <laughs> well, that's perfect for me just about any time. <laughs> I like it. Also, I end up wearing these socks alone, so, uh, you know, separately. It's going to be an interesting message if, uh, if I'm wearing them uh, apart from each other. Like, I can't get up right now just by itself could mean any kind of thing. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Oh, this, I don't, this must have fallen off on here, but there's a cute little kitten here who's wearing booties and a scarf that's like almost covering his entire head. It's a sticker that fell off on, onto the, uh, the box. So, this one's addressed to the KA Cats and Kittens. I've already lost my knife. There it is. Okay, we got it. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you very much. All right, I'm trying. Once again, let's see now. Drizzle. Oh, look at that. Aha, uh -huh, I win. Look at that. I got the whole one off. I didn't nice. even unwrap it. And still, you could pretend there's a box in there. That's how perfect and respectful I am. Good. I hope you feel respected, Frozen Tundra Crew. Okay. Oh, Kitty Crack 2.5 gram <laughs> plush toy refill. <laughs> Good start. Mm hmm. Oh, these are so cute. These are unicorn cat kickers. We have two of them. One is a rainbow unicorn and one is a pink unicorn. They are adorable. And oh, I see they have little pockets in their belly. That's what the kitty crack is for. Oh, but there's already some in there. Perfect. Oh, oh, and it's spilling all over now that I've unzipped it. Nice zippers too. These things are built to last a while, I think. Hi. Oh, you guys smell something really good, don't you? It's not in there anymore. I took it out. It's over here. Here, this is it. Do you smell this? Do you smell on there? No? Okay, all right, okay. You guys can play with that. I'm going to put this in my pocket. Uh, this stuff really is like kitty crack, I know, because someone sent us a tin full of it a while back, and every time I put this, the tiniest little sprinkle out, Maggie goes insane for hmm. it, like just crazy, more than catnip. I, you can see it's already having an effect on these guys. What is it? It's kitty crack. It's just silver vine, like powdered silver vine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, like you would do with catnip. Uh, these guys clearly can smell it in the packaging here, too. It is highly effective stuff. Hi, I know. You can smell it, too. Wow, it just brought everybody over. Uh, that's really cool. Okay, I'm going to put that aside, let these guys keep playing with that packaging, and one more package here, also from Frozen Tundra Crew, of course. Let's see how respectful I can be this time. Oh, on the box, the license plate on that truck was Meow M3OW, mm -hmm. I noticed, mm -hmm. but on the actual one, it says... I think it says here, kitty, kitty. It's here, H E R E K T K T. Yeah, I see uh, that. And almost, I almost thought it said heretic in like some weird spelling of heretic. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Why would it say yeah. that? But no, it says here, kitty, kitty. That reminds me of a joke. Do you want to hear a joke? No, I don't. <laughs> I know what. I know what. It is. It's a. Uh, I can't, I can't actually tell the joke because it involves like yelling very loudly, but it is a... Uh, you guys have heard me tell it before. It's ridiculous. It just cracks me up every time. Ask me, ask me some other time and I'll, I'll tell you the joke. So, okay. This is uh, a box full of little cat toys for everybody. We have the skitter, skitter slices that are fun for everybody to play fetch with. In fact, I, j I just had Logan playing fetch with one of those last night. Uh, we have the Kong Flingeroo. All right. Well, it's a mouse wearing a tutu with legs and jingles. I don't think we've seen one of these before, but it looks like it would be a lot of fun. That silver vine in those unicorns is a hit. Wow. We have uh, fun fluffs. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's descriptive. It's three little pom-pom balls. We have a set of donuts loaded with catnip. And, oh, the cheese wedge that you mentioned, it does appear like it's got a little bit of fur on it already. So these guys <laughs> might like it extra, extra, because it's already got something going on there. Mm. 
And then we have the oh the silly Springer. We've seen this. It's like a it's like a ball that has a feather and a fun tube, and it's made so if you put it on the ground and push it down, this can act like a big old spring and launch it into the air. In fact, it says push to launch in case you couldn't figure it out. So that is oh also fun. All right, well good times. That must be the most fun wrapping. Oh, one of these fell out. We've got a little flat mouse wearing a Christmas hat, wearing a flat Christmas hat. That's super cute. We haven't seen too many flat mice lately. There was one that came a couple weeks ago, and I thought, wow, it's been a while since we saw those. This Christmas version is fun. Buddy, you're a little riled up. Oh, that's Squall. Wow, Squall doesn't do that to me very often. That's normally... Um, welly. Yeah, that's normally a welly thing. I just assumed it was welly. But no, that might have come out of the box too. These kids are way ahead of me on this stuff. Anyway, the flat mouse, the Christmas mouse is super cute. Since it is Christmas, we're going to put that out right now. Here we go. And if they don't go for it, I know where to find some kitty crack. That'll get them going. Okay, put this over here with that stuff and put these uh, in a box of endowments perhaps. We don't really have one going yet, so I'm going to put it on top of this stuff. This is going to be a mess to clean up, just like Christmas morning was at home with mom and dad. By the end, there'd just be wrapping paper and packages everywhere. Um, I can only imagine how they felt when we were so disrespectful mm -hmm. about the packages that they spent so much time wrapping and putting under the tree, and we've been looking at them for weeks. And then uh, within five minutes, it's all over. <laughs> uh, this is cute. This is... Well, I don't know. What? Uh, it says waste not wants is where it shipped from, but uh, hopefully there's a note. Oh, there is a note. Okay, good. To the students of the timey wimey class, enjoy your time at the academy from Fiddle. Aw, oh, Fiddle. P.S. Don't forget to use the Kazoo Network. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is from Fiddle, and it is from a place called Waste Not Wants. Apparently, Waste Not Wants at Yahoo.com environmentally friendly and responsible products. All right, well, let's see what kind of products they are. Is there a tissue over there? Oh, there's so much tissue. Do you need the tissues? Oh, do you want you want to fill that with tissues? Mm -hmm. That would be great. These tissues are loaded with kitty crack and they're having so much fun with them. Yeah. And they're red and white, they're perfect. Here you go. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, come on, let where go. Can I, where can I put this? Uh, that's a great spot actually, right there, I think. Or maybe turn it one way or the other so it's well, that's good, I think. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see in a minute how much of that is visible, but they can definitely see that zone. Look at how cute these are. This is uh, little knit or crocheted balls that presumably have catnip in it, a mouse, uh, a donut. These are really cool colors. And then the, the maybe the best part for these six little kittens upstairs, what are you chewing on? Oh, I guess just a little bit of tissue paper. Well, you can eat that if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, for the kitties upstairs, we have tiny little kitten-sized balls that are either crocheted or felted, and all in Christmas colors. This is the perfect thing to give them today, and put right in their box because they are. I don't. They're not really ready to recognize objects and play with things yet. That's probably going to take another few days to a yeah. week. But they are seeing things and getting interested and curious, so I think it's a fine time to start putting some toys in there. Just don't expect that they're going to be playing with them uh, right away. I know they'll get to it. And the rest we can uh, give to their mom or uh, whatever. Turns out to be right. Those are really cute. Thank you so much, Fiddle. All right. I, in fact, I'm going to put these in my pocket, too, so that they all go up together. And I'm going to close my pocket. Because I put, did this with the snowballs yesterday, and I'm pretty sure I was wearing the same shirt, and uh, I haven't been able to locate where those snowballs went yet. Yeah, they probably fell out somewhere, but anyway, <laughs> zipped. All right, we got it. Okay, uh, what is next? Do you want to open something while you're sitting there? No, I'm going to go well, back to this. This doesn't even really need to be unwrapped or anything. It came for you yesterday. Oh. I don't know what it is, though, because I didn't look. Okay. Why don't you just take that and have a, have a quick look? I'm pretty sure that was for you. Uh oh, I think I've forgotten who sent it, though. I should have remembered. I think I made a mental note, but my uh, mental notes go on to like an Etch-A-Sketch, and it gets reset every night. So there's just nothing. What is it? Oh, it's a Bob Ross sweater. Apple, uh, green apple sours. Oh, green apple sours. Yum. Oh, yeah, I think somebody had said that, so that's perfect. Somebody did send it. That's why it's that's here. That said that. <laughs> oh. What's the other thing? A little button? 
cats and coffee. Oh, perfect. Well, those cute. are cute. Green apple Super sours cute. sound really good. Bob Ross branded, though, with Bob Ross's sweater. That's a strange thing. Why? He's really big right now. and in But fact, why is it this and this together? I know. I know. It's just so, it seems so random. Okay, I'm going to turn But, uh, no, he's, he's big, and our vet actually has him on almost all the time when we go there, mm -hmm. which is fun, too. Okay, this <gasps> has notes. Teaspoon. This says, in, Look, oh, enjoy in your it. gift, same as the other note. Okay, well. Hey, buddy. He's sitting in it. Yeah, teaspoon's right in there, buddy. Here, can you see him through the door? Yeah, you probably can a little bit anyway. No. Yeah. Enjoy your gift. Millet and Sydney wanted Aww. to send a couple of... Oh, did you... I didn't show you the uh, the newspapers that we got yesterday. Millet and Sydney sent, uh, um, like, their corporate newsletter from, from their job at the Port Authority, <gasps> believe it or not. That's and way too cute. There's a page of all the people who work there as their pets, and they're on it. <gasps> It's really cool. It's in my office. I'll show you later. So this is for Millet and Sydney. A couple of gifts to use as you see fit. And in fact, what we have are... This is so cute. Oh, this could be a great box for putting endowments in. Um, we're really out of room, though. Let me set it here for one minute. Okay. So this feels like some kind of tunnel, and so does this feel like some kind of... Wait, no, this is more than a tunnel. This is like a whole pop-up playset, like the Popo Sneets. Hmm. It's a... Banana? I don't know. I don't know. This is the bag. So we're going to have to open the bag to see. Oh, maybe there's a... Hey, buddy. Well, it says cat tunnels, but I can tell there's more to it because, look, we got a little piece and a big piece mm. and another little piece. So this looks like a cat tunnel. I can see when we open this up, it's going to be a polka-dotted cat tunnel. These are... Let's find out. Let's just see. Oh, a pod, a matching pod. Oh. No, a matching yeah, uh, tissue pit tissue with a pit. hole in the side. Wait, this looks familiar. So this could be, you could put this either way. If you wanted to have it covered or if you just wanted to have a tissue pit, then this can clearly connect right here. Mm -hmm. And then on the other end, we have... A little one? A little pod. No, this one's more oh, like the... a pod. This is like the, the NASA set in, uh, like... Right. This end and this end, but this place is completely different. So that would be, be really fun to do. Put tissue pit here, mm -hmm. have the tunnel, and this on the other end. That could be the, like the coolest tissue pit. Oh my goodness! All right, that's going to be really fun. If I can get this put back away for now, this is going to make a great tissue pit, though. I'm excited to try it out. Okay. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Teaspoon's just watching you. Is he still in his truck? Yeah. Buddy, where are you going, huh? Through the windshield. Look, he's just... He oh, he was just <laughs> looking at you. How do you like that tissue in there, buddy? He's just listening to all the sounds. That tree is very precariously, precariously uh, placed in that truck. Like, they, no, they need to go back. It's They're fine. Not, <laughs> they it's should secure. not be driving that thing around. It's secure. Uh, oh, hi. Okay, well, somebody's already in the pod. Uh, uh, well, he, come on now. Let's save this Squall. for a good time. Squall, whichever one you are. Okay. Well, Typically, away. Squall's the one who's getting into all the trouble, but I guess today... I mean, well, he, oh my goodness. All right. Well, that I did not get that put back together very, very nicely, but nicely enough to store. That's what counts. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to toss this back there because we have all these hanging in the back hall. So it will go that direction after mailbag. This also feels like a tunnel, and it says, oh, kitty curve cat tunnel with transparent sections. Let's see. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it's a, oh, this is another one of the same favorite tunnel that we have had. Had. What is this? What are you playing with? Where well, did you get that? It sounds heavy. No, it's a, oh, light. it's lights. Christmas lights. Oh, I know where it came from. There's oh, a long the box? box back there that they probably knocked over. Yes. Has all that stuff they shouldn't have access to. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Just so, yeah, I think that uh, we ended up sending this uh, with one of the adopters, didn't we? Because I haven't seen it in a little while, but this is a replacement for that curved tunnel we had that's been so popular for such a long time. Uh, either that or it's put away because it got peed in several times and had to be washed repeatedly. 
Uh, don't worry, if I did give it away, whoever I gave it to, I promise it got washed. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. This is a very cool tunnel that, that will get a lot of use out of here. It's Pet Fusion brand, and it does have the transparent sections, and it's a big S-shaped thing, and uh, it's got the like pretty flower or plant pattern on it, too. Perfect for the jungle room. So I'm going to also slide that right back there, um, even though that's not really where that goes. It will get put to the correct place. Okay. Put all that out of the way. And see what I can reach here. If I put these in, this is, I guess these are just distributed now. This can go up though. And, all right. Get some of this stuff. Let's move some stuff. So it's, oh, this is, oh wow, so heavy. It just opened itself. All right, put that down there. This has got to be kitty litter, but let's see who it is from. Oh, boxy cat, the good stuff. Uh oh. There's a big gap in the bottom of the box that I'm going to guess the note went through. No. Yes, I do not see a note, but uh, let me check the outside of the box. It probably won't have a clue, but it might. This is two bags of boxy cat litter, which we can never have too much of. Oh, I can't leave this out. Welly has a thing. If, if there's a bag of litter, he tears into it like instantly. I was filling the litter boxes a couple days ago, and I brought in two bags from the garage, and I set one down at the door while I walked around with the other one. 30 seconds, I was back, and he had already torn up the, open the bag. Where is he now? He's distracted right now by the by the kitty crack in the truck. They're both in the truck, Squall and Well. Oh, he oh. heard it. He oh. heard it. Oh, no. <laughs> I heard that noise. That's my call. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm going to put this in the garage before it becomes an issue. He really has a thing for the kitty litter bot bags. I don't, Buddy I don't know why. why. Okay, hang on. You guys can come right here with me in audio. So yeah, we store all the kitty litter in the garage now. That is ridiculous, pal. Completely ridiculous. Here, we can put this back there and put this right up here if we want. How's that? Better? Maybe? Oh, that tree's really not secure. Wow. Yeah. Those guys. Uh. Maybe it's just meant That's to be fine. a toy. That's fine. They're going to get pulled over. They're going to get a citation. Mm -hmm. okay. I just got to move some of this stuff out of the way so that we can continue mailbag. Uh. There we go. I just uh, saw the Sages box that we kept, and I'm happy to report that um, it seems like Calendar likes to snuggle with her little toy. She's played with it a little bit. I saw her play with it a little bit, but she's been snuggling with it a lot more. Uh, oh, that's Nulo again. All right, that can go over there. Oh, this is heavy, too. All right. Oh, uh, Kitten Academy. All right. Oh, it's more Boxy Cat. Perfect. Well, I know what I've got to do with it, though. And... Turkey and gravy, kitten uh, baby food, I mean, uh, human baby food, but it is perfect for our kittens. They love it. It makes a wonderful treat. It says, Merry Christmas to Callie and her tinies and everyone at KA. Something to eat and some Zen garden material from Raylene and Zenathon, uh, who always send us the practical stuff that we can use for the kittens. Uh, thank you so much for this. Uh, I do have to now get up again. <laughs> Wait, mm -hmm. let's check this last box and see if it's food. Or uh, this one says from Laura. Uh, that's going to be uh, Laura Kitten Fan, right, on Discord. It's just uh, cut off a little early here. And it's taped really well, so I need something to open it with. Are you sitting on my knife? No? Mm -mm. Well, whoever's got the bingo square that's a lost knife, there you go. It's been lost. <laughs> wow, utterly lost. It'll turn up in due time. It's not under these things here? It's got to be under something. It's okay. We've got spares. This is why we have spares. This one's got the big thing on it still to keep me from that same problem. <laughs> Thank you. Bodies. 
Okay, this one's food, so we were safe. This one is Nulo. Perfect. Oh, and even better, I love it when Chewy uses these box protectors because these make wonderful kitten litter boxes. Mm. And so uh, we're, we've got some kittens nice. that are going to need tall. one before long. Yeah, these are the good ones, the, the big ones. So this is the new low, um, the chicken baby food, that, uh, baby food, the chicken food that we use. There we go. Easy for me to say from Laura Kitten Fan. Thank you. Oh, and there's two of them both with the, uh, the nice litter boxes included. So that's wonderful. I'm going to slide those on over. Oh, and then i got to carry this litter out. I'm going to forget. It'll get torn into right in front of me. We don't need that. Okay. There's one more box back here, I think. It's uh, with all this mess I've made. It's a little difficult to tell for sure. So give me one sec. I'm just going to tidy up this side of the room so that we can see if I lost anything back here other than the knife. Saved that box yesterday to put the endowments in, so we'll, we'll get to that, don't worry. Okay, new low, more new low. Good, okay. I think we're on track, and in fact, there is nothing else on this side of the room. That means that now it's time to go under the Christmas tree. Oh, that's a note. See, that doesn't belong over there. That belongs over here. All right. Good. Perfecto. Good. All right. Back at it. Now it's time for Christmas. Yay. <laughs> Well, we've been looking at this stuff under the tree for a while now, and that's exciting. Before we start on it, let me check chat real quick, make sure everything's okay. Oh, I see we're taking sides on uh, whether it's better to uh, respectfully unwrap mm -hmm. or excitedly unwrap. I'm only coming down on the excited uh, side because of practicality. It's just, it's just not practical to do it the respectful way. <laughs> Okay. All right, perfect. So, well, let's start. Let's see. I'm just going to see what packages I can find that are over here within arm's reach. Oh, hey, look at that. We've got matching ones from uh, JKH Mom to Monsters. A red one for Mr. A and a green one for Dr. DJ. And the tops of these boxes, look, the bottoms are shiny and the tops are felted. That's so nice. See, look, this one's felt. You can tell. You can tell because I oh, see. You can yeah. see me doing it. Mm -hmm. It's felt. Yeah, it's felt. It's felt. It's felt. It's felt. Ha ha. Hi, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna toss this to you. It's pretty light. Ready? Yeah, nice catch. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. let's see what we got here. Um, oh, look at that. We can just open it up. Yeah. Except, oh no. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of tape on the inside to hold it. I got it. Uh, I think we can. Oh, oh got wow. it. Okay, there we go. Handmade by JKH Mom to Monsters. <gasps> what is this? Oh, you already see yours? Uh oh, she's ahead of me. I'm taking my time and doing it respectfully, but she's just tearing into it over there. I guess you guys can see that I'm lying. This is so cute. It's a little tiny notebook toy. Uh, oh, is it a toy? Well, no. What? Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to need to find out what it is. So it looks like a little tiny notebook, but I think it's uh, it's got three sewing needles in it. So maybe it is a notebook, but it's made for us to embroider our own story into. <gasps> That's my guess. What do you think? Is yours the same thing? Yeah. So what does your notebook have on it? Mine has a unicorn and a castle in the sky. It's awesome. Mine has cats on it. Oh, it's look at that. This one's there. got rainbow unicorns. They're wearing flowers. It's beautiful. Yeah, mine's really pretty look. too. 
Oh, that is pretty. Here, here's what mine looks like with the little rainbow. Mine looks ones. better. Oh, come on. It doesn't even have clouds <laughs> on it. So, yeah, so inside we have four felted pages and three sewing needles. And my guess is that um, I can get out the thread. We have thread. And we can write our own little story in here for the kittens. That's what you think? That's what I think. Does yours have needles in it, too? Yeah. That's got to be it. But we know where to reach JKH Mom Do Monsters to find out. And I think there could have been something else from you that might also be uh, revelatory. So we'll see. Do you want to put yours in the box with mine so they're together? Sure. You can just toss me your thing. Just don't hit me with the needles. <laughs> they're put in there very securely. Oh, yours has blue pages. I know. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very pretty. That's a fun idea. And, you know, we can make it into like it's a little cat toy, but uh, we get to pour, sort of put our own design in, which is a super cool idea. Now, um, let's just take a look at what else is back here on this side. We have... Uh, Weirdo and Kevin, Mr. A, and from uh, Dr. DJ from Weirdo and Kevin. Lots of purse from Weirdo and Kevin. Look how pretty that is with the gold and the silver. DJ can open this one respectfully, I think. Here, I can toss it to you respectfully. Just throw it across the room, but I did it with respect. <laughs> so I'm going to dig right in here. Look at how cute that is with the Christmas the Santa hat on it. I don't think we got the same thing, so I'm not spoiling anything by opening this. This is me being as respectful as I can. <laughs> Ooh, video game. All right, is it uh, underwear? No? Ooh, yeah, I mean it is, actually. Men's cotton rich socks. These are really cool. We have a Pac-Man one. We have like a, a, a Simon Says one, I think that is. And then over here we have video game controllers. Uh, retro games. How cool. This could be Breakout, too. Or it could be Rubik's Cubes. It's Rubik's Cubes. They're in nine. They're grids of nine. I see it now. Oh, oh, even more on the back. Look, we have Tetris and Space Invaders and, like, the PlayStation controller symbols. These are really cool. And I can mix and match because they're all the same color pattern uh, and all the same theme. <laughs> That's cool. It's a needle minder. Oh, that's is it? I, I just thought it was something to keep needles in. Well, that's fine if it is a needle minder. I don't mind that. Wait, that doesn't make sense. But it's uh, it's fine to have a needle minder too. We do have needles sometimes. So I think it's I think it'd be fun to put our own little story in it though. I do like that yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know yeah. we've got a tomato somewhere for keeping needles. That's what you do, right? I think it's in the fridge. <laughs> so we've got our our, um, our needles managed, and we've got a strawberry next to it too, in case we need to have them sharpened. We can do that also in the fridge. They've been in there a while though, mm. and poked full of holes. So I don't know if we're going to end up eating them. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much, <laughs> nonetheless. These socks are really cool. The needle minder slash make your own storybook is a very cool idea. <laughs> Now she's going to laugh at me, but it makes sense, all right? I, I, yeah. It could I mean, be a I Christmas like, coconut. I, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see you actually write stories. I can do that. I can embroider a little things in there. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Oh, now I'm going to have to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Oh, I missed a box. This one went over here, didn't it? And didn't get opened yet. All right, let's do that. It's got something big in so. it. From Fiddle. Oh, another one from Fiddle. All right. I'm. There's still the knife is just absent. Hmm. All right, we're gonna tear this one open. Oh, hey, we've seen this before. <gasps> oh my God, another pineapple. This is our third of the exact same bed. And the last time one came in, I oh I know. Look at this guy. He wants to get he right. Loves it. He does love this bed. He'll take all three. Actually, everybody in, in, loves the bed in the bedroom that is that bed. Uh, but it is teaspoon that spends the most time in it. So mm -hmm. this is a great little teaspoon bed. And uh, like I mentioned, it's kind of hard to to wash these because it's made with like a sturdy bottom that doesn't go through the the washing machine very nicely. Um, but the one that we got first has been through the wash and did get a little messed up, but is still the one that is being used. So this one can be kept in reserve, and that's wonderful. Thank you so much. It's, such, it's so soft and sweet, and they, they love it. 
And there's another one in here. So now we've got. Oh, what is that? A game? No, it's socks. Oh, socks. Feline good socks. And oh, they're, they're stripy with cute kitties on and them. And they're odd socks. Yeah. Oh, they're not matched. How cool! And it says Sock Academy over here. Really? Wow. Sock Academy. All right. That's so cool. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. No, we should pair up with those guys. So you sent this one, and there's also a matching frog bed, also with the bottom on it, and these cute little froggy eyes. That's adorable. Thank you so much, Fiddle. These are going to be really fun. He's got he's got little uh, cheeks that are uh, blushing and a little froggy nose and smile as well. So froggy. that is really cute. And uh, like I said, perfect. I'm sure that the frog bed will be just as loved as the pineapple bed since they are, uh, you know, except for from from the cat's perspective, they probably don't even know the difference. Or maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's going to be a strong preference for the frog or against it. Uh, I have no idea. We'll find out. For now, I'm going to slide those on over. Where did everybody go to? Did they get tired out? Can I see them? Can, can they, are they stuck together? Okay. No. Oh, all right. Nice. Sorry. No, that's cool. They the are box. mismatched. Look at that. I did not know. It's actually United Odd Socks is what it says on the back. United Odd Socks. Well, I like that. It's a good message. This is cute. They do match, though. They, you know, they're all sort of of a type. Of a sort. Mm hmm. Makes They're a match. Each one of a kind. Yeah. Mm hmm. They are. Yeah. They are. This guy's cute. He's sort of, he's stuck through this like it's blinds. Did you see that? Like like it's Venetian oh, blinds. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's, that's very funny. Oh, all of them? Oh, maybe oh, yeah, they all, all are. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting it. So, yeah, this one is too. This guy's just kind of poking over the top, so you wouldn't really realize it. I like the tuxedo. But now we can see that that's what they all are. <laughs> Very cool. Well, that's perfect. You odd socks. Oh. Nice. All right. Uh, you just have to bring them upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get it. Um, all right. Let's see. What's next here? Well, I'm looking just to make sure there's nothing on this side, but I don't think there is. Okay. So now we get to do this stuff. Oh, um, also, I wanted to say thank you to the Burnses for sending those beautiful roses. They're in our kitchen right now. And especially um, for the vase or vase uh, that they came in, which is like this red glass that is, uh, it looks Christmassy, but it's just beautiful. And I like to get flowers all the time, so we'll be... We'll be seeing a lot of that particular vase. So, uh, thank you. Hey, All right. Well, this is from Ruth and Bob, and I am going to need to get out a knife. Did I just put it away? No, I didn't. It's not in there. Okay. We'll find it. It'll turn up. I'm not going to go missing forever. We've lost it before. Okay. Ruth and Bob. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Very respectful. Okay, it just says again, Mr. A and DJ. That's us. What do you think it is, DJ? You think it's underwear? No. Okay, sounds like underwear. DJ spends a lot of time shaking her head at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really glad you could be here. Is uh, somebody else is working today, huh? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, I bet it's one of the residents. No. Really? Peter's working today. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. And it says Meowy Christmas. And it's like a laser cut cat that also has a collar and a bit of a wreath, I think. Let's, let's see. This is uh, cool. It's uh, like a thick frame. And then, oh, very cool. Wow. That's a, that's a super interesting way to do it. So it is, uh, oh, oh, there's, it lights up from the inside, huh? I don't think it's got any, it doesn't, doesn't have any uh, juice in it right now. Let's see. What kind does it need? I see there's a power switch and everything on the back, so that's why it's so open. It must have lights in it. 
You know what? I've got a box of batteries that's perfect for this right there. Give me two seconds. I know exactly where they are. Because I just found those candles and put them out. Same batteries. I did find the candles. I, I don't know if you knew, but they were exactly where I thought they were the first time. I just failed to see them, I guess, or didn't search hard enough. I thought they were in the boxes over there, and they were. Um, but I, I don't know how I missed them the first time. They could have been put out a week ago or more. All right, let's see here. Timer off on. Oh, it's on timer mode. Oh, that's very pretty. And he's, like I said, he's got like a little bit of uh, the, the uh, tree and some little berries here. And uh, I guess it's supposed to be uh, mistletoe or is it um, ho holly? holly? I don't know the difference, actually. I don't either. They're just Christmas symbols as far as I'm concerned. But that's what it is. You can clearly see it. And he's got a little red collar and he's holding this uh, with him. And he's got a paw print down here. And it says Meowy Christmas and it's backlit. It's very pretty. And it's got a little mounting kit, too, so we can hang it up or put it in the front hall for people to see at the door. That'll be lovely to use uh, at Christmas time. Thank you so much. Yeah, we can just leave that on right now. Put it right there for the moment. That's so pretty. That light is just, that's it's really, really pretty. cool. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> Squall. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Let's see what's in this bag right here. Uh, for Oh, this is for DJ, though, from Ruth and Bob. Oh, here. okay. Here you go. All right. And we've got this stocking that I think is stuff for the kittens that I can, oh, take out right now. This, oh, it's not stuff for the kittens, though. Look at that. Oh, this is the socks for DJ. Ah, hey, look at this little guy. It's almost like teaspoons sticking out the top of the socks. These are lounge socks, I think I mentioned when we peeked in here earlier, that have the little rubber dots on the bottom so that they keep your grip really well as you're wearing them around like uh, like shoes. Like, this is stuff for DJ, all of it, isn't it? But, oh, maybe not. We have the catnip infused bag that is going to be a lot of fun for these kids. That's right, the Marion Berry chocolate bar. Uh, somebody was saying what that is. Marion is a place, and uh, the Marion berry is like a particular type of uh, blackberry? You know, I wasn't really paying attention, but I saw somebody on the Discord had answered that question from yesterday. And then, oh, the tea infuser. That's right, with the, and I, yes, okay, so we've been through that. We went through that yesterday. The cute little pewter kitty cat. And something. Oh, that's right. The uh, the elderberry green tea. It smells very berry. Hmm. I don't know if you'll try it, but I will if you don't. But it Let is your try. brand. It's just uh, got some berry in it. Mm -hmm. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much for that on DJ's behalf. Did you take a look at what is in the bag? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, mm -hmm. she's saving the surprise. Well, I opened her stocking for her, so I guess she can take her time with that. This is stuff I'm going to put right here in the pile of things that we're going to take that direction. And this is stuff I'm going to put in the pile of stuff we're going to take. Ha <laughs> <gasps> Nailed it! It kind of surprised Welly. He wasn't expecting that, but it didn't hit him or anything. That's why DJ gasped. Um, okay, so now we've got this lovely stocking to use next year, too. We'll put that right under the tree. And I'll put this uh, pewter guy. He's, he's heavy and he's, you know, he's lead or pewter, so I'm going to put him in my pocket. But he's really cute. He's wearing a, a Christmas hat and everything. DJ should see him, too. Well, um, she's right in the middle of something I can see. Very focused, so I'm not going to interrupt with this. <laughs> it's okay. This says, fa-la-la on the card. Oh, that's right. I had to tuck the card under. This one is to DJ from Carrot Palooza. This came yesterday. And that wrapping paper is very cool, so I'm going to give that to her for whenever she's done being distracted. There we go. This also was uh, sort of part of that yesterday. I'm going to put that in my pocket now. There we go. Okay. Well, that leaves us with... Oh, to Kitten Academy from Bob and Ruth. Okay, good. And... Oh, but wait, there's more. Uh, Kitten Academy from Ruth and Bob. 
What? Teaspoon. It just, oh, somebody's already tried to open this one. There's all these bite marks in the corner now. I wonder if it was teaspoon. Uh, so we'll set that right there for a second for teaspoon. And then I just want to figure out what else we've got. These, I think, I mean, we already know what's in them, even if we didn't open them. It is Lint uh, Master Chocolatier. And these are good truffles, I'm guessing. Uh, but there's a piece of tape that is going to keep me from opening it because, I don't know, I have trouble with simple things. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, now I think I got it. Ooh, it is a variety pack of truffles, a pistachio one right on top. White chocolate, salted caramel. I don't think I knew that they made pistachio uh, or salted caramel. Hmm. Oh, it's, I can smell some mint down in there somewhere. These are going to be so good. I had breakfast. I've been eating like oatmeal every day for breakfast. I don't know why I'm so hungry. My mouth is watering. I am ready, uh, but I will have to wait. I'll be patient. Okay, I think that's everything then. So the rest of this is going to be teaspoons package, Bob and Ruth stuff, and uh, yeah, that'll get us through. Okay. Do you um, are, do you want to open one of those? Tell us what's Jay, in the bag. You should, you should open. You want it. me to do it? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, DJ's going to have me do the work over here. She'll just make commentary. That's fair enough. That's what we normally do. We're just lucky to have her here. Let's see. So, I can't believe nobody peeked at this. I didn't. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this little guy. It is a Christmas tree ornament, I assume. No? Yes, it does have a little thing to hang it by. And it's an adorable kitty with a heart and a tail and a Santa belt and a Santa hat. Mm -hmm. He's holding a Christmas present. Um, and he's got this cute scarf with bells. And apparently his name is Jolly. He has a little adoption card here. Oh, this came from a shelter and uh, from uh, greatergood.org. That's fantastic. So, uh, Jolly, house trained, yes. Likes candy canes, dislikes, dogs scare me a little. Um, there's check boxes for naughty or nice, and the nice box is checked. Good. Very cute. I want to purr and rub against your leg. That's super cute. <laughs> wow, the rest of this is a little bit, a little bit much. <laughs> uh, but you get the idea. He's adorable. Okay. What else? It looks like a scarf. <gasps> Whoa, a monogram scarf. Oh. I think it's a it's a big squarish thing. Yeah, I would I would say this is a big scarf. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh wow. And it's got a big old D on it. And it's sparkly too. It's like made out of little tiny rhinestones. That's super pretty. That's pretty. Yeah, I'll give it to her to wear, I promise. <laughs> uh, and then we have Oh, kitty socks. These are very cute little kitten socks. They've got little kitten ears and faces at the top. Oh, am I covering up my mic now? Mm. All right, let's go with that. All right, let's try that. Okay. Uh, we've got, look, it's got a Christmas pattern, and it's got this beautiful little kitty face at the top, and it's even got ears on each sock. Little snow kitten socks. Those are great. Okay. This is warm. This is really warm. Wow. Uh, I've been surprised by how uh, little snow we get here in in Connecticut um, since we've moved here. It's nothing like Illinois, but uh, but it's wonderful. We get we get enough that we can enjoy it, and not so much that it's unwelcome, which seems just about right to me. Okay, this uh, then is from Bob and Ruth, and then we'll do uh, we'll do this. Uh, well, we'll just we'll go in whatever order. So this is to the Kitten Academy. Merry Christmas, Kitten Academy. Ooh. Okay. Well, it's got a cool pattern on it. I think it is a blanket, but I think we're going to have to open it up to know for sure because it's sort of vacuum packed in there. So it could be a blanket. It could be a bed. The way it's folded says bed. Ooh. Wow, it's like breaking the seal on some Tupperware. Uh, let's see here. That's never going to fit back in the bag, so we might as well put that aside. Oh, it looks like it's a quilt, and look at what a beautiful quilt it is. 
How do you like that? Little geometrical cats. They look like that game. Uh, what do you call the game with the shapes that you have to make the different things out of? You know the one. It's yeah. got the little triangles and squares, and then you have to arrange them into different patterns. I don't know what it's I called. think it's got like a Japanese name. Anyway, they do. They look just like that game, and it's very cute. I love these colors and the blocks on it, and it's got a little knot work on it as well. It's lovely. Oh, the KA kittens are going to love it. That's a that's a beautiful quilt. Hmm. All right. I'm going to fold it back up. Those are some great colors. There's no chance Anybody? I would think of the name of that game, but I know somebody on Discord's got to be yelling it at me right now. Uh, it doesn't matter. Ooh, there we go. Uh, do we want to save the teaspoon box for last? I already took this stuff back from you. So this is the thing from Carrot Palooza. This is some cool wrapping paper. Each one of these is a painted, a hand-painted Christmas tree ornament. And it's on like a silver back paper. Those are very cool. Oh, more cat socks! <laughs> the way they're packaged is amazing, though. I almost wow. don't want to open them. So that is our cat socks, I promise. One size fits most. And on the back, you can see that the socks are this uh, pink color, obviously with this cat on it, obviously. Uh, the cat's up on the ankle side, and then all the way down on the other side is a ball of twine at the toes. You can see the pictures on the back here. Hi, Till. Hi, what do you want to play with? Oh, got to sniff all the things. Uh, thank you for those socks on behalf of DJ. And then we have, I think, just one more from Bob and Ruth, and then the box here that says teaspoon will be our last one. And that will have been Christmas. I think. Oh, I still that's have that going to be the last one. What's that? That's going to be the last one. Yeah, the teaspoon one. Uh, who's in the tree? <laughs> oh, it's Wooly. Oh, how far up is she? I don't see. Oh, he's, I see her. He's in the middle. I see him. Yeah, right in the middle. He's a boy. I know. I know genders. I learned that in school. But do you know these kittens? These two? No, I've They're never. They're called. Uh, uh, squ squally and Wall? Squally and Wall. <laughs> Oh, Till's winding up to go chase Teaspoon. Oh, she's making a big wind up. Oh. She's going to jump and he's under the kitchen table. And Does she's... he know? Oh, it wasn't for him. It was for the <laughs> tissue paper. She hit it and then bounced and then <laughs> she's running around like a kitten. That's ridiculous. She is such a kitten sometimes. She's I thought a great she was winding kitten. up for Teaspoon. Okay. She's squishy. Yeah, oh, she's great. Well, it's long. Oh. Wow, it says... Oh, that's big. Happy Holidays, and it does... This one also <laughs> lights up. Happy Holidays. Oh, it lights up, but... Oh, again, we've got the same... I think it's even the same battery com compartment. Well, we got we got to get some batteries for that, too, while we're doing it. Hang on. Oh, we got all the light up signs for next year. Yeah, I like that. Oh, well, the Paul Days one we can put out because it's in the, the cat one is fairly generic for the season. Mm -hmm. So we can keep these out right now. I'll put them in the front hall um, as soon as we find another batteries. There we go. Okay, let's see what it looks like lit up. There's two different lighting settings on this one, too, but instead of being labeled on and timer, they're labeled one and two. I think it's like super bright versus, you know, not super bright, maybe. Let's find out. Okay, this is one. Oh, and then this is two. Well, they look the same to me. Maybe they're just not labeled timer. One. Two. I feel like I'm at the optometrist. Mm-hmm. One. Two. They both look the same. Yeah. Okay. You're the optometrist. You tell me which one looks better. Gosh. I didn't go to school for this. Uh, all right. So that's very cute. And it's going to be perfect. It's heavy, too. Like, this thing is serious. Those are going to be great. Here, let's leave it on two just to see what that what happens, if anything.
It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's very uh, Hollywood, isn't it? It looks like something that would be in the background yeah. on a set mm -hmm. of a talk show. Um, like, like you know, those interviews that they do on, it's Bravo, right? The guy, what's the name of the guy that does the interviews? On all the shows for Bravo. Uh, oh, Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen, yes. On his set, there's all that stuff in the background. It looks like something that would just yeah, be in the background, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it? so. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So, that leaves us with one box left for Teaspoon. I'm just craning my neck around to make sure I didn't miss anything. If I did, we'll, we'll find out later. Oh, and I think this is supposed mm. to be a teaspoon, right? This ornament. Oh, is it? The little orange cat here. Well, this one has a note. Oh. Oh, yes, it is. That is supposed to be a teaspoon. Do you want me Do to put it right put here? It? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And it's so cute, too. He's just got the cutest little uggo face. <laughs> it really is. And the little balls. Oh, it's adorable. Wow, it's heavy, though. Yeah. Let's make sure I really get it on there. Um, it has to go below the other. I was uh, I was in DJ's office putting something away yesterday, and I found the teaspoon with a little tiny teaspoon in it that has been sitting there for, I think it was, um, was it Madame Amy that gave us that, maybe? I don't want to get it wrong, but it is so cute, the little sculpted teaspoon in a teaspoon. Uh, okay. This has Santa Claus juggling presents, and it says, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's got a big, bright uh, Santa nose inside. Look at that. And it says, to my special teaspoon, we know you like ball towers, so here's a special one just for you. Take care, Weirdo and Kevin. Aw, oh. well, this is kind of a ball, too. There we go. Somebody, like I said, has already been trying to get into this one. Probably Teaspoon. He really does upstairs in the... I, so there's no camera in the bedroom right now. Uh, and, you know, whatever. We'll see if we get one back in there in due time. But um, I took, like, the long blue ball track, and I put his ball in it. And then inside, like, in the perimeter, he's got his ball tower and that AstroTurf thing. And you can just... I think you saw him playing it this morning, actually, in one of the micros that we did. And it's just, it's really cute. It's sort of like the Teaspoon Fun Zone uh, or the, like, Teaspoon Theme Park. And uh, I'm probably going to dump the little orange ping pong balls that we got back there for him, too. Oh, he loves those. Yeah, I think those, uh, were those from Charlie or Hell? I'm just like, it was the part of our London contingent or UK contingent, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, Meow Mo, she deserves better. Well, wow. okay. That is, uh, that's a claim right there. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Wow, this might be a ball track that I'm going to have to read the instructions for. This looks complicated. Look at these pieces. And it's got like four pieces that have little holes and things in them. And it's got a weird ball here and two ping pong balls. Oh, Oh, wow. It's like a multi-layer ball tower. And flash ball, bell ball, peppermint ball. First install the transparent ball. Oh, step four first. Okay, no. Step one, align the upper and lower tracks. I see along. Well, let's put this together real quick. I mean, this is the last thing on mailbag, so thank you, everybody. And Teaspoon loves his little ball tracks, so let's see if we can figure this out. All right, we've got one of these, and are these four identical pieces? No, not quite. I can see this is different, and this is different, and these two are the same. Uh, oh, okay, I see. So, it looks like we take one of these and one of these and put them together. Is that right? Kind of? I don't see how that's going to fit. Oh, I see. There we go. Hang on now. We can do this. Yeah, there we go. 
details. Well, two, three of the four snaps came together. Great. Oh, but we got to unsnap it for that fourth one. Hi. Hi. No, you can't type. You mm -hmm. can't type. No, you can't type on here. Make sure it's properly aligned. Try Italian. one more time here. Okay. Hi, sweetie, Tilly. Ah! Purr, purr, purr. I, I can do this. I'm smarter than the ball track. I can definitely do this. Okay. One, two... Three, good. Okay, I think that's good. All right. So, okay, step, align the upper and lower. Okay, got that, got that, okay. Um, okay, so then we do another one of these, and then we buckle them together. All right. Hang on. What are you doing, Till? You want to help with this? You smell something yummy over here? Silver vines? <laughs> if this tree's rocking. All right, oh, rocking nice. in the Christmas tree. Okay, that one we got all four snaps. Okay, align the buckles, snap them together. Oh, okay, like this. Uh, yes, that's correct. Yep. Step three. Step three is the main body of the toy is assembled. All right. First, install the transparent ball into the upper part of the handle ring. Oh, oh, I see. It goes like this. Oh, man, that is some bright stuff. It's like the police are here. Uh, it's very bright. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's a fun thing. I wonder if he'll get into playing with that part. All right. So then we just press this on top, and then it's done. We have to put the other two balls in it, of course. There we go. Two, three. Perfection. That is a cool cat tower and ball track, I mean. Nice. Well, where's our little boy at? I don't know where he went. Don't know. Uh, oh, I see. Teaspoon. Teaspoon. Come here, buddy. Come here. He's looking at me. Oh, Eddie's in the way. Teaspoon. Come here. What have I got? Come here. Oh, he's running. He saw the ball. He's running. Oh, he likes the ball track. Wow. All right. Man, he was all the way over there, too. He loves it. What is that on top? It's so sweet. He is just a sucker for a ball track every mm -hmm. time. Good job, good job. Oh, buddy. Till, that was uncalled for. Oh, that's supposed to be her friend. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, now she's going to zoom around and hit all the tissue paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I found the knife. That's right. What's oh, this yeah. in my pocket? <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, there you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks so much for making our Christmas wonderful. This this has been really fun for me. Sorry, again, that I was late. Uh, I am going to have to go back now and complete that project. But I honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that, uh, that um, uh, treadmill out of the basement even once it's disassembled. The, the one piece is so big and heavy that it might not make much of a difference. But we'll find out. Oh. Kiddo, nice. Oh, he's going to hit it through the top. By the way, every time that I look at his piece of AstroTurf in the bedroom, he, the ball's been taken out. I haven't seen how he does it yet because it's very hard to get it in and out of there. But somehow he keeps taking it out. <laughs> well, I'll let him keep playing with this while I start to get stuff put away. Uh, thanks again, everybody. I'll switch us back to the regular mic, too, so I'll collect DJ's microphone. There we go. Oh, no, what do I... You got um, it. There you go. Just clips right off.
and move that camera upstairs so it points at some kittens. Also, I'm going to take the ceiling camera here and put it in the kitchen, even though it's full of cardboard boxes and stuff. You can maybe see Till being a complete goofus. Well, she just ran off down the hall, though. So, all right. Maybe she'll give us, she'll come back and give us another chance to see all that. Okay. So they can hear you now? Yeah, through that. Okay. Yep, yeah, I think so. In theory, anyway. You should just leave that here. Wait, oh, front hall, you said. Yeah, I'll put it up here. Okay. Figure it out? How does it work? What does it mean? It looks like he's really trying to figure it out. Mm. I think he has to go in. In the in bedroom? The, yeah, like a spot. Like yeah, in his little teaspoon play zone. Uh, let's see. I was thinking maybe a box to carry everything upstairs at once, but let's just see. This stuff can go to the kitchen. This can also all go to the kitchen. This can go to the kitchen. This can go to the kitchen. All right, good. to make those cookies with the recipe from Jamestown that are, you know, the same as those truffles. I got the little cookie thing to put them in. Yes. Pictures of Ari, like, in the litter. Oh, rolling in the litter? I'm sure I do somewhere, but I don't think I'll be able to find them on demand. Right. And I doubt that I've shared them, but I guess if anybody on Discord has seen me share them, a picture of Ari in a litter box. I may have done, because normally when he does that, it's a brand new clean litter box. You can post a picture of that. Maybe I did. Yeah. It's been a while. Okay.
Let me look at that, buddy. Teaspoon makes such good eye contact with everybody. He like, looks right in your eyes. And into your soul. Yeah. The American Smarties. Wow, that ball track's a hit for everybody. Here, buddy, you can sit up here with the faculty. Oh, there's that flat mouse. There's my embroidery uh, project. <laughs> Laugh all you want. You know what me and Billy Piper have in common. We do what we want. And we both like David Tennant. Oh, sure it does. He seems like he's still having fun with it. That was her song, right? The We Do What We Want, was it, right? I think that was it. I think that was it. I can't hear the tune in my head either, but I'm pretty sure... All right, this whole room's gonna need cleaning up later. I guess it's good for now. Take this stuff out of here. Okay, I got some more stuff to put away still. Okay, you can just grab that phone. That's, I don't need it for anything. Well, I'm heading to the basement anyway. So I guess I'll take this with me.
Merry Christmas, everybody. Ours has been great. I hope yours is great, too. What are you looking at, Teaspoon? Hi, buddy. Well, I'm mean, in the archive here. Oh, Till. That was not called for. Nobody's going to believe how sweet you are if you keep doing that. All right, there we go. Well, thanks again, everybody.